Now, let's turn our Bibles to Genesis chapter 1, and I want to read uh, verses um, 28 and 29 because of time. Yeah. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the heart and subdue it, have dominion over, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the balls of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the heart. And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the heart, and every tree whose fruits yields seed, to you it shall be for food. Come to chapter 2, verses 8 and um, to 15. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life was also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it parted and became four river hills. The name of the first is Pisim. It is the one which scales the whole land of Avila, where there is gold. And the good of that land is good. Bidelium and the honey stone are there. The name of the second river is Gion. It is the one which goes around the whole land of Cush. The name of the third river is Edeke. It is the one which goes towards the east of Assyria. The fourth uh, river is the Euphrates. Yeah, Euphrates. Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to tend and keep it. Now, I want to speak on where... Is money. Where can you find money? But let me quickly tell you that you don't need to believe the deception and the conspiracy of recession. Please do not believe the conspiracy and the deception of recession. There is money and there will always be money. There is money. Don't believe that there is no money in town. There is money. There will always be money. In any generation, there will always be money. In as much as we have this planet heart, there is money. You just need to know that. Identify a problem, solve that problem, money will come to you. But let me show to you where money is found. Let me tell you that money is not found in heaven. Money is not in heaven. Mm -mm. Money is not in heaven. Let you know they will spend it there. They don't spend money in heaven. In fact, the street of heaven, according to the scripture, is made of gold. Meaning that the citizens of heaven should walk on money. That it we are to control money and never to be controlled by money. And that's what Jesus is saying in Matthew 6, 24. You can't serve God and money. Yeah. In heaven, gold is the street. The street of heaven is made of gold. So they don't spend money in heaven. So money is not in heaven. Money is here, is here, is here. It's on this planet heart. You just need to know how to get money. And God does not want you to be controlled by money. Rather, I want you to control money. Then I need also to let you see that God has a pool, a store of pool of resources, both within every man and around his environment. God, from the creation account that I've read to you from Genesis, before Adam came to be, all that either we need to convert to money, God has provided. So, and what you will make to get money is inside of you. So, God has a store of pool of resources, both within every man and around his environment where that man is located in the world. God didn't create money. But valuable things 
that attract money which are kept hiding. God didn't create money. God did not create dollar. He didn't create CDs. He didn't create euro. He didn't create yen. He didn't create naira. God didn't create cobble. What God created are valuable things that attract money and they are kept in hiding. So it is our responsibility to search and to search and research until discovery is made. So if you don't make search, if you don't make discovery, where money is hiding, you keep on believing the lies of economic recessions. You keep on believing the lies of global meltdown invented by greedy men. So that is where matter is now. So as a child of God, you need to know where money is. And by the grace of God, I have come under God to let you know where money is kept. And I will quickly tell you 10, and I don't know again if this episode will permit me, but I will go systematically. And uh, if I cannot finish this episode, in this episode, then we continue the next. All right. Number one, money is found in the creator himself. That is, money is found in God. By implication, if you have God, you will have money. Follow me into the scriptures. All those men who knew God, they were not financially stranded. First Chronicles now. Let's come to First Chronicles 29. Chronicles 29. All right. Yeah. First Corinthians 29, verses 10 to 12. Therefore, David blessed the Lord before all the assembly. And David said, Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty for all that is in heaven, and in heart is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Now, please, pay attention to verse 12. Both riches and honor come from you. Riches, money, and honor come from you, and you reign over all. In your hand is power and might. In your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. Now, follow me to Isaiah. David established with us that riches, wealth, and all material things belong to God. It's in God's hand. So money is in God. Now, in Isaiah chapter 48, how do I assess the money in my creator? Isaiah 48, verse 17 and 18. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer. Is God your Redeemer? If it is, yes. Now listen. The only one of Israel, I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit. So, God teaches his children how to make money. There is a way that they want to teach you to make money. But God knew that. So he's committed to teach his own children how to make money, how to multiply money, and how to manage money. All of these three intelligence is found in God. And they are in higher sense of God. He said, I am the Lord your God who teaches. So in as much as we have this art, and we'll be having children of God. God is committed to teach his children. And only those who acknowledge this fact and who tell God to teach them. 
Say, who leads you by the way you should go? He knows what you are to do that will bring money. Say, oh, that you had heeded my commandment. Many times the Holy Spirit has given you ideas of what to do. That by now, if you have obeyed, you will have been having cool and good money in your custody. But because you will not obey, because the way the law teaches, it doesn't come not always by dream. Sometimes when it comes by dream, you tell yourself it is just a mere dream. And when it comes an idea into your spirit, you just say, well, how would that tantamount to money? He said, oh, that you are, he did my commandment, then your peace will have, will have been like a river and your righteousness like the waves of the sea. Number two, money is not only found in the creator, money is found in created things. Money is found in created things, both living things and non-living things. Flying creatures, creeping creatures, aquatic creatures, trees, plants, the land and mineral resources beneath the heart. If you have a piece of land, even if you inherited it, you have money. If you can lay wood on a peacock, that's a bird. You have money. You have something to sell in the market. Even if you have chicken, you can rear chicken. Those are the flying creatures. If you can lay hold on an eagle, and you manage an eagle, and you can keep an eagle, you have money. So, money is in created things. And uh, lastly, as I bring it to a close, I can only go to three, ideas of innovative and witty intentions. God gives idea in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 17. Deuteronomy chapter 8, he said, Then you see in your heart, my power and the might of my hand have gained me in this way. Now lift in verse 8. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power. Power here means idea to get where. That he may establish his covenant, which is what to your fathers, as it is this day. Bow your head and let us pray. Lord, thank you for showing me this. I never knew that money is in God. Now I have seen it from the scriptures. Little I realized that money is in created things. Now I know. I know that you give idea that makes mom to become wealthy. Lord, I pray. That as your people, they are coming to realization. You will do them good in this regard. Lord, as they pray to you, may you answer them. And as they are, you give them idea. We also grant them grace to believe you and let them act in obedience. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We believe you have been blessed by the word of God you just heard. For further help or counsel, call these numbers 0806-615-6208 or 0703-284-4129. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Strago Media for more spiritual messages. Or visit our website at www.stragomedia.com to download those messages for free. Thank you for staying to the end of this program. Join us again, same station, same time next week. God bless you.